Are you wondering if you should do a natural birth or are you curious why people choose to do natural birth in the first place? In this video, I'm going to be giving my five top reasons of why I chose to do a natural birth. There's obviously way more reasons than just the five, but I decided to cover the main ones because people are curious and someone actually asked me, can you talk more about your birth experience and what all of that was like? So I got super pumped because I actually have a lot to say on this topic. And I love talking about it because I thought it was the coolest experience of my life. And so, yeah, I'm going to share my five reasons of why I chose to do a natural birth. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you're new here, hello. First thing to note is that my birth was at a birth center. It was not in a hospital. It was with a midwife and a doula. A doula is basically someone that kind of assists and helps you with like the techniques for um, coping with your pain and I was super fortunate to be able to have this doula help me because she was seriously like a rock star. Because a lot of times husbands, they don't know what to do, especially if it's their first child. And so it was just super helpful. Like Slav and I both are very happy and super glad that we had her. So my labor was 24 hours long. It started at home and then we uh, made our way to the birth center and we were there for the majority of the time. We were there all night and then all morning and then the next day at like 2 p.m. I had my baby. Okay, very important. I think that the person that's gonna decide to do a natural birth needs to be healthy. I'm a pretty healthy person overall, so I didn't have that risk of complications. And so I was able to take that option to do a natural birth. We as women are created so beautifully and unique that we're able to naturally give birth. Like our bodies were made for this. This is not some kind of unusual event or tragedy or sickness or disease. This is something our body was meant to do. And so with that being said, I decided that, okay, because my body is made for this, I can endure the pain. I can go through this pain and be okay and I will not die. And so I know there's people that say I'm not made for pain or I can't do pain. I don't do pain. You can do pain. That's just your mindset. And that's just what you decided is that you can't do pain. People that can't tolerate pain are the ones that just, they simply decided in their head, they don't tolerate pain. And so they don't, but you could, if you decide that you can. Do you see what I'm saying? I just strongly believe that whatever you set your mind to is what you can accomplish and what you can do. So now the question is why? Why would you set your mind to go through this painful experience when you can have a pain-free birth, um, experience with an epidural. I guess first I would mention why I decided a birth center versus a hospital. That's a big thing because it just plays a bigger role in the whole picture. I, I chose a birth center because with all my research and studies, I have found that a birth center, they create an atmosphere there that is super relaxed and very homey and comfortable. A lot of research shows that just to have a good delivery and labor and for like the mental health and for the health of the baby, it's super important important it's like super key to be in a relaxed and quiet and calm atmosphere which is what they create it's like super chill it literally feels like you're at home versus the hospital yeah it's not homey in the hospital i just ugh, i don't like the feeling of a hospital and from all my research i have i've heard that birth at a hospital is a lot more rushed and kind of like quick so they try to like get you in and out and that's like the last thing that you need when you're giving birth you need to be relaxed and you need to be at ease and you don't need to be stressed out and i feel like being kind of in a stressful atmosphere will stress you out as as a mom that's about to give birth. Yeah, you don't need that. All right, so reason number one, there are actually more risks in taking the epidural versus not. They can shoot the needle in the wrong nerve, in the wrong spot, and then healing after getting the epidural is just takes so, so long. And I know a person, I met a girl that was saying that her back has been hurting ever since her last birth and she did get the epidural. And so she's just had back pain for years. And so there's just a lot more risk with that there's a needle going into your back i don't know just doesn't sound right just to eliminate pain come on you can endure a little bit of pain and avoid so much risk you know 
Number two, the effect that it has on the baby, the epidural. It has an effect on the baby because when the babies that are born with medication during the labor process and delivery, they are not as alert and they're a little bit like doozy and a little bit out of it. I just don't think that it's necessary to put something into your body that is gonna affect your baby. Like for example, when I came home and my midwife came to visit the day after I gave birth, she told me that um, your baby is very alert. Most kids or most babies that are born without any medication, or uh, the baby is a lot more alert and just aware of their surroundings. They turn to where they hear sound. They're like, they just follow motion with their eyes. I wanted my baby to be fully, fully there. Reason number three, I wanted to be fully aware of what is happening and I wanted to be really in touch with my feelings and my emotions that come with giving birth. Think about it. This is one of the most important moments of your life and I don't want the baby to be handed over to me and I'm just out of it. I wanna be fully there. I wanna experience the sadness, the gladness, the happiness, the joy, the everything. I wanna feel all the feelings. And I just feel like it makes the experience a lot more real because you feel like you were fully there. And so when time um, goes by and you can look back, you could remember all those like really powerful feelings that you had, which I just wanted to be fully present, you know? Have that connection with my husband, have that connection with my baby mentally not just physically i think that's huge number four the healing process after giving a natural birth is a lot quicker than a different birth because you just heal faster. I don't know if I'm saying it right. From my experience, on my second or third day, I was walking around the house doing stuff, which probably is not wise now that I am thinking about it because my body does need to rest and heal. But I was like, feel, I was feeling good. I felt really good in my body and I felt like I had energy and I could walk. Fifth and final reason why I wanted to do a natural birth is because I did not want to miss out on this beautiful experience. I just think it's one of the greatest moments of your life. I have watched videos upon videos of strangers, women, strangers giving birth at their home or at the birth center, it doesn't matter, but giving birth naturally and I just wept. I just cried over their birth experience. That's how beautiful it is. That's how amazing it is. And I'm thinking, I just don't want to miss out on, the, on that moment. I don't want to be dozed off or like somewhere else in my mind. I want to be fully there. I want to experience the whole thing. Uh, I just think it's the most, one of the most beautiful moments in life. And so... I just wanna look back and be proud of what my body was able to endure. I wanna be proud of what my body had went through. I wanna be proud of the perseverance. There's just something so empowering about that, like what your body is meant to do and what it is able and capable of doing. It's just the most amazing thing, guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. Guys, if you have not already, check out my video about my postpartum experience. Thank you for being here and for watching my video. And if you have not subscribed, already Already, please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out my previous videos down below and I will catch you later